Hello, it's Rolando, your credit coach. Welcome to Ask Credit Coach, episode number 23. This week, I'm not going to give a credit tip. I'm going to go on a rant here. Um, the reason because the number one question that consumers tend to ask me is how much does credit repair cost? How much does it cost to fix my credit? And quite honestly, I don't think they're asking me the right question. The right question is, what is bad credit costing you um, as an individual? What is it costing you? Um, is it you not being able to purchase your home? Is it you not being able to purchase your dream car or a reliable car for that matter? Um, is it you? Is it costing you your peace of mind? Is it costing you the creditors taking advantage of you when you're applying for a car loan, or applying for a mortgage, or applying for any type of loan? And what I mean by taking advantage is this. There's a scenario, I have a scenario. If a consumer with good credit goes to go buy a car, let's say the consumer has a 720, believe me, he's gonna get that car on his terms. He's gonna be able to all say, you know what, I wanna buy this car, I don't have a down payment, and I want this and this APR, I also want all the bells and whistles, why? Because he has a good credit score. What that means for the dealer is that this person is most likely is gonna continue paying his loan, it's gonna be on time, there's not gonna be any issues. Now, if a consumer with let's say a 580 or anything above a 660 goes to go purchase that same car, there's gonna be a lot more buts. You qualify, but we need a larger down payment. You qualify, but here's this ugly APR. You qualify, but here is your payment. No, we cannot give you all the bells and whistles unless you come in with the large down payment. Is being treated that way really worth you having back credit? No, it's not. You really cannot put a price on having good credit. Now, I do understand that finding a reliable company to assist you with your credit is key. I understand that nowadays it's hard to trust a company, whether you pay them monthly or not, to assist you with your credit. I mean, I don't think you can put a dollar amount on the peace of mind, knowing that you have good credit, that if needed, you have it. Not to abuse it, again I say it, if needed, you have it. That is the power of having a good credit score. Because whether we like it or not, we are surrounded by credit. We're gonna have to use it somehow, someday. And it's better to have a great credit score, to be able to lay down the terms or not agree with them and have, have uh, the power to be able to negotiate whatever terms they're giving you. Why? Because you have good credit score. So it's not how much does credit repair cost. The real question is, what is it costing you? And only you, the individual that has bad credit, can answer that question. So guys, there's my rant. I hope that I brought some clarity in regards to the importance of having a good credit score. And the price you are willing to put to repair your credit, that's something that depends upon yourself. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for your support. Um, as most of you know it, I am an author of a bestseller, Leadership Habits. And I want to give away a few copies. Please leave me a comment below and share this video with someone. I'll go ahead and pick a winner, send you guys a signed copy anywhere. Please let me know, leave a comment, share it with someone, and I'll go ahead and pick a winner within the next week. Thank you very much for watching. I am Rolando, your credit coach. And remember, if you have a credit question, please email me at info at IHaveACreditQuestion.com. And remember, credit is earned, not given. Have a great day.